Welcome back to uh, week 10 of a work in progress with myself. I am Josh Matuzic. And if this is going to be the only week you watch, which it probably will be, well then you picked a great week because about halfway through we're going to be hitting the road to Rochester to meet with a special friend with ours. And let me tell you, it is big time. Very big time. Here are this past week's top stories. The Livingston County Sheriff's Department are saying that vandals are responsible for the mischief caused at Caledonia Country Club this past week, which amounted to upwards of $3,500 worth of damage. Sisters are saying that six greens were damaged on the course with different messages carved into each one. Well, they de tried to depict what they said, but man, those greens are just too freaking tough to read. If you're a golfer like Josh Williams, you would know... Caledonia Country Club's greens are not easy to read. Is that right, Josh? A lot of pots. A lot of pots. In other news, the Department of Health is naming September National Preparedness Month, uh, which encourages us Americans to take the proper precautions in preparing for emergencies in our homes, schools, businesses, and so on. Now remember, this is a natural follow-up to last month, National Honey, Where the F are my keys month? <laughs> Found him. Also on the national level, the Republican National Convention, or the RNC, <laughs> was held last week in Tampa with thousands filing. Josh, what the, what the heck, man? I thought, we have a mistake here, I thought the Hot Air Fest was in Dansville. It's on you, Josh. My bad. Anyway, uh, moving on. Free breast cancer screening day is coming to Geneseo Saturday, September 22nd. Yeah, this does sound like a great opportunity but I'm just scared that it's going to be some creep behind Kelly's saloon. You know what I mean. You get it. You catch what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, you should look into this. It's free. It's held by the Elizabeth Wend Breast Care site in uh, Geneseo right here. GeneseeSun.com for more details. This is Josh from Work in Progress. GeneseeSun.com. Like I said, we're going to meet with a special friend right now. We're going to go meet with Brother Wees. We're going to go to the HSBC building in Rochester. Come on and join with us. Oh man, it's that sound Josh Williams warned me about. Gotta pull over. Are you kidding me? Oh, is it jiggle the wire then lift the hood up and down or vice versa? I guess I'll just have to figure it out for myself. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, the music industry today. I know a lot about the music industry. I, I know you do. I want to ask you what what are your thoughts on on your on your mainstream stars, your your Nicki Minaj's, your your Lil Wayne's. What's their music stand for? You know, I, you know, what do you got to make me feel like an old curmudgeon? Do I have to feel like an old curmudgeon? Because my, you know, if I'm going to be honest, like I be. You know, I can't help it, bro. The music business is over, everything. And I, unfortunately, or fortunately, have been through the whole run, from the 60s to what I call the great music to, you just mentioned Nicki Minaj. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Isn't she? Yeah. Great at what? She's got the biggest ass I've ever seen. It's, uh, you know... It, it's just all sad to me, but I, I, the future is caught up to me, and I just accept it. And it's so funny because I'm reading Keith Richards' book right now. He's Rolling Stone. Yeah. And what's amazing to me is that Keith Richard and Mick Jagger went to grammar school together, which is unbelievable because they're in what some people might call the greatest rock and roll band in history, still playing. And that is friggin' amazing because they, the book is just so great. I mean, I never, you know, it's when little kids all the way, you know, what they did, how long he was broke. 
You know, and they were playing music, playing music, playing music, touring. You know, that now they're instant stars, mostly. Uh, so we were just talking about the music industry. Now, in uh, Livingston County, where we're based, we have this music shop. You know Buzzo, Buzzman. Buzzo, 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 Buzzo. Buzzo, Buzzo is a historic package. The one that, you know, you've got uh, Geneseo, which, by the way, a little too tough these days. That's how good you're going out there. Yeah. Now it's like uh, it's like the uh, Harvard of uh, Livingston County. No, they just they just released a thing with their uh, Geneseo stats. Uh, the for, cl new class of freshmen, average GPA 95, 94, 95. 93.9. Like, it's a major that's, school. And it's a public school. It's SUNY. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, check this out, Geneseo. Anybody watching? You wouldn't let my daughter in. Yeah. You wouldn't let my daughter in. And she got into Bowling Green and got a 4.0, three years out of four. Couldn't get in Gen goddamn seal. <laughs> couldn't get in Geneseo. Proud. You guys should be very proud of Geneseo. Yeah, Not so much right. Buzzo, but Geneseo. <laughs> Kidding, Buzzo, well, like you're watching. <laughs> well, the thing I was going to comment, Buzzo's one of the guys, he still sells records. He still sells. He's got beta tapes. and Beta. Stuff. He's got everything in there. How do you even know what beta is? I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Weez, uh, I want to play. Last thing we'll do here, a bit of a game here. We're going to do a one-word association game. All right, so we'll start. And now try and keep, I know you. it's tough for you, but one word here. Oh, and some of these. I mean, do your best. Obviously, you're the man here, Weez. Right, we'll right. start with number one, the Republican National Convention. Hysterical. <laughs> number two, we got Ms. Nicki Minaj. Biggest ass I ever seen. No talent. Nah, she got a talent. She won. Oh, there wasn't one word. Let me. Big. What? Well, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> number <laughs> three, we got Jesus Christ. Hero. Hero. Number four, Doreen. Love. W Q B W, love it, love it. It's one word you put it like in the computer. All right, <laughs> I want to thank you for letting us stop by. We, we I had a lot of fun. Any death threats? You're coming with me. I'm afraid of the hillbillies. They don't get it. I know they. But don't. come in with me, folks. Come in with me. We'll have the love party. We will. Thank you. We're here with Brother Weez today. I want to thank him for letting us come by. Oh, yeah. Guy, oh, the fedora. I need it to cover my receding hairline. Yeah.